Hello students, today we are going to start exponent chapter. So here we have, if I am taking 3 power 7, here 7 is your exponent and 3 is your base. We read it 3 power 7 or 3 exponent 7. 7 is the exponent and 3 is the base here. Now if I am taking 2 by 5 power 11. So it means base is your 2 upon 5 and exponent is 11. Now here we have the question find the value of the following and here it is given minus 6 power 4. Minus 6 power 4 means minus 6 is multiplied 4 times. So I am writing minus 6 multiplied with minus 6 multiplied with minus 6 multiplied with minus 6. I am writing 4 times minus 6. Now here 6 times 6 is 36. Again minus 6 times minus 6 is 36. Now 36. Now 36 times 36 is 1296. So this is our required answer. Now I am taking another question. Minus 2 by 3 and exponent is 5 here. So here I can write minus 2 by 3 multiplied with 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 minus 2 by 3. I need to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times because the exponent is 5. Now see when we have minus odd number of time here we have exponent odd okay 5 is a odd number we can see that 5 is a odd number and if the number is odd exponent is odd then the minus sign will result you minus sign and in then it will be a negative and if you have even exponent then exponent of negative is your positive so here 5 is odd number so answer will be our negative now 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So here I will get 32. Now 3 times 3 is 9, again 3, 27, again 3, 81 and 81 divided, uh, multiplied with 3 is 2, 43. So our answer is minus 32 by 2, 43. Now we have the question here, express the following in the exponential form. I have the question t multiplied with t multiplied with t. Here we can see that t is multiplied 3 times so I can write t power 3. This is the exponential form. If I have here 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with a multiplied with a multiplied with a multiplied with a. So here 2 is multiplied 2 times so I can write 2 power 2 and a is multiplied 4 times so I can write a power 4. So this is our answer. Now, now we have the question simplify the following. Suppose I am taking the question here 3 power 3 multiplied with 10 power 4. So 3 power 3 means 3 I need to multiply 3 times. So 3 times 3 times 3 and 10 is multiplied 4 times because it has power 4. Now 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 multiplied with here we have 4 times so I can just write 10,000 or we can write 2, 7 and last time and last 4 digits I can add here. So this is our required answer. Now I am taking another question here. Fifth question we have to simplify the following minus 2 power 3 multiplied with minus 10 power 4. Minus 2 power 3 it means minus 2 is multiplied 3 times and minus 10 power 4 it is multiplied here 4 times. 
now let us count them how many times we have minus sign we can see that we have minus sign 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 is a odd number 7 is a odd number so it means our answer will be negative so here i am writing negative sign now 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 multiplied with we have 4 times 10 so i can write just 10000 here or minus 8 and i can just write four zeros at last so this will be our answer now one more question i am taking minus 1 power 9 it means minus 1 is multiplied nine times now again we can see that 9 is a odd number so our answer will be minus 1 minus because it is a odd number power is odd so it will be a negative and one multiplied with one multiplied with one will give you one minus so answer is minus 1 i am taking another question here 4 power 2 multiplied with 3 power 3 multiplied with minus 1 power 122 now we can see that 122 is a even number now if it is a even number the answer will be positive so here i will write here 4 power 2 is 4 multiplied with 4 3 power 3 is 3 multiplied with 3 multiplied with 3 and here minus 1 power 122 will give you positive one so 4 times 4 is 16 3 times 3 times 3 times is your 27 and multiplied with 1 we can ignore and multiplying 16 times 27 will give you 432 so this is our required answer now here we have another question identify the greater number in each case now here i have 4 power 5 4 power 5 means 4 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 4 and here 5 power 4 means i am multiplying here 4 multiplied with 5 means 5 times i need to multiply 4 and 5 power 4 means i need to multiply 5 4 times if i am multiplying this i will get 1024 1024 and if i am multiplying this i will get 625 so i can see that your this is greater so from here i can write 4 power 5 is greater than 5 power 4 Now we have the next question write the following numbers as power of 2 so i am taking the number 1024 so if we have 1024 i need to do prime factorization so doing prime factorization here i will get 2 times 5 is 10 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 now again i can just divide with 2 2 times 2 is 4 1 goes carry here 2 times 5 is is 10 then 1 goes carry so 2 times 6 is 12 so here again 2 i will get 128 again we can divide with 2 i will get 64 again divided with 2 i will get 32 again divided by 2 16 again divided by 2 8 again divided with 2 4 2 and then again two. so i can write here 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with 2 2 2 2 and 2 we can see that 2 is multiplied 10 times so i can write 2 power 10 now next question is to what power minus 2 should be raised to get 16 so here again we need to do prime factorization of 16 6 two times 8 is 16 Two times four is eight. Two times two is four, and two times two uh, two times one is two. Now here, I need to write in power of minus two. So I in place of two, I am writing minus two. Minus two multiplied with minus two multiplied with minus two and multiplied with minus two. Here we have four times, so I am writing four times minus two. Or I can write minus two power four. This is also your sixteen. 
now we have another question write the following as power of minus 3 i am taking first as minus 27 so first thing i will do 27 prime factorization so 3 times 9 is 27 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is 3 so in place of because we need the base as minus 3 so in place of this i can write minus 3 multiplied with minus 3 multiplied with minus 3 or this can be written as minus 3 power 3 now i am taking 81 81 again i need to do prime factorization of 81 so here 3 times 27 is 81 3 times 9 is 27 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 1 is now i need the power uh, base as minus 3 so i can write minus 3 multiplied with minus 3 multiplied with minus 3 multiplied with minus 3 or i can write minus 3 power 4 this is our answer our next question is find the value of x in each of the following 3 power x is 7 Equal to 729. So here we can see that we have the power base is 3 here. So I need to do factorization with 3 only because base is 3. So I will divide with 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 goes carry. 3 times 4 is 12, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Then again I will divide with 3. So 3 times 8 is 24, and 3 times 1 is 3. Again dividing with three, I will get twenty-seven. Again dividing with three, I will get nine. Again dividing with three, I will get three. Again dividing with three, I will get one. So here I can see that three is six times. So I can write three into three into three into three into three into three, or I can write three power x is equal to. Your three power six. So from here we can see that the base is same, so exponents will be also equal. So the value of x is six. Now our next question is minus four power x is equal to minus one zero two four. So here we have the base. 4 so what i will do i will do the factorization with 4 only i will not do with 2 so 4 i will divide with 4 so 4 times 2 is 8 2 goes carry here 4 times 5 is 20 then again 2 goes carry 4 times 6 is 24 Then again I will divide with four. So four times six is twenty-four. One goes carry. Four times four is sixteen. Then again dividing with four. Four times one is four. Two goes carry. Four times six is. Then here again dividing with four, I will get four here. And again dividing with four, I will get one here. So I can write in place because we have minus. 4 as base, so I will write minus 4 multiplied with minus 4 multiplied with minus 4 multiplied with minus 4 multiplied with minus 4, or this will be equal to minus 4 power 5. So minus 4 power x is equal to minus 4 power 5. So from here I can write x is equal to your 5. This is our answer. Then our next question is. Minus three by four power x. Now here I have minus two forty three over one zero two four. So first I will just do factorization of two forty three and the base is three here, so I will do with three. So three times eight is. 24 and 3 times 1 is 3. Again dividing with 3, I will get 27. Again dividing with 3, I will get 9. Then again dividing with 3, 3 and here 1. Now here the base is 4, so I will divide with 4. So factorization with 4. So here 4. Times two is eight. Two goes carry. Four times five is twenty. Two goes again carry. Then six. Again, I am taking with four. So here, four times four is uh, four times six is twenty-four. One goes carry. Then four times four is sixteen. Again, dividing with four, I will get sixteen. Again, dividing with four, I will get four. And again, dividing with four, I will get one. So here I can write. We have minus sign, so I will write with negative sign. Negative three by four multiplied with 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 negative three by four. Or I can write minus three by four power. 
5. Now I can see that x is equal to your 5. So I can write x equals to 5. This is our required answer. Then we come on the last question, 11. Write the prime factorization of the following numbers in exponential form. So let us take with 540. Okay. Now here I am doing the prime factorization of 540. So first thing we can see we can divide with 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 1 goes carry. 2 times 7 is 14 then 0. Okay. Again I can divide with 2. So 1, 3 and 1 goes carry. So here you will have 5. Now again I can divide with 5 now. So 5 times 2 is 10. 3 goes carry. Now we can see this is, we know that this is the factor of 3. So I can just divide with 3. So now I need to write in factorize your exponent form. So 2 times 2 multiplied with 5 multiplied with 3 times 3 times 3. So here 2 power 2 multiplied with 5 is only 1 time and 3 is your 3 times. So this is your answer. Now I can take next question here 4725 I am taking 4725 again we have 5 at the last so I can just divide with 5 so here I am starting with 5 5 times 9 is 45 2 goes carry then 5 times 4 is 20 2 goes again carry then 5 here again now again I can divide with 5 so 5 times 1 is 5 4 goes carry 5 times 8 is 40 then 9. Now we can see that this can be divided with 3. So 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9. Again this can be divided with 3. So I will get 21. Again divided with 3 I will get 7. And here 7 then 1. So 5 is multiplied 2 times. 3 is multiplied 3 times. And 7 is multiplied 1 time. So I can write 5 power 1 multiplied with 3 power 3 multiplied with 7.